Sister Lizzie, can you come in for us? Oh, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Sister Lizzie, I can no longer afford to go to church in this day and age. Sister Kathy, what do you mean? I don't understand. I pay my tithes regularly as well as generous offerings, but I feel as though that's no longer enough. I am constantly made to feel as if more is expected of me. Sister Kathy, if I may ask, what is it exactly that makes you feel that way? I'm talking about various requests for money. Are you referring to women's dues, workers' dues, department dues? That's only $10 monthly. Come on, Sister Kathy. You're more than that. Sister Lizzie, that's not what I'm referring to at all. I'm referring to the mandatory pledges, the various lobbyings for special seeds, and so on and so forth. Am I making any sense? Sister Kathy, I see your point. Though some of those special seeds are not mandatory, no one puts a gun to your head, do they? No, they don't, but the pledge I made for a particular project was mandated. It wasn't optional. Doesn't the Bible say that our giving shouldn't be of necessity? It does. Kathy, as for me, if I didn't willingly make a pledge, then I will not be in a hurry to redeem it. That's my take on that issue. Why does every program have to end with a call for a special seed? Sister Kathy, I don't have all the answers, but one thing I do know is that the church needs money because money answers all things. Besides, there are people who can afford to give all those special seeds in addition to their tithes and offerings. These are people who have paid off most of their debts, people who have investments, making money for them. Sister Kathy, I believe it is God's will for us to be among this category of people who have so much that giving above our tithes and offering is no longer a problem. Sister Lizzie, I hear you. I will continue to pay my tithes and offering and will focus on paying off my debts. God says we should owe no man. So by the grace of God, I will be out of debt and be able to bless the work of God above my tithes and offerings. Amen. It's more blessed to give than to receive. The hand that gives is always on top. God loves a cheerful giver. He that sows bountifully shall reap bountifully. As you give, press down, shaking together, and running over, shall men give unto your bosom.